This week, we will talk about PL, CTCSS, and DCS tones. Something a lot of new users struggle with is understanding how tones work. PL tones is a generic phrase that encompasses CTCSS, DCS, and other tone squelch systems. When you hear people mention PL tones, they could be talking about any of these tone squelch protocols. They have different names and they may work in a slightly different ways, but they all serve to filter out unwanted traffic from your radio. The joke is that PL stands for private line. Of course, there is no privacy in two-way radio. By including a sub-audible tone with your transmission, you can tell another radio to open its received audio. Both radios need to have the same tone programmed, and when they do, you will hear only the radio traffic that includes that sub-audible tone. Repeaters work the same way. The repeater will ignore everything it hears on its tuned frequency unless it also hears that sub-audible PL tone. When it hears that PL tone, it will engage its transmitter and repeat what it hears. When it transmits its received message, it includes the same sub-audible tone. Users with the correct tones programmed will hear only messages that include the programmed sub-audible tone, and they will access the repeater when they transmit with a sub-audible PL tone. Let me break. Sub-audible tones are basically tones that we don't hear, which makes them sub-audible. The radio receiver uses the tone, then filters it out before playing it on the speaker so we don't hear the underlining tone. DCS tones are digital in nature and would sound unpleasant if we could hear it. We prefer CTCSS tones, which stands for Continuous Tone Coded Squelch System, but in some cases, where we experience frequent interference from non-members, we've found that interference is often eliminated with DCS tones. DCS stands for Digital Coded Squelch. Rather than try other CTCSS tones and find we get interference again, we prefer to go straight to DCS tones to minimize the trouble the membership has in reprogramming radios. If we have to change a tone, we'd like to change it only once. There's a lot to unpack here, so if you have any questions, this week's net will be a great place to ask. By understanding how the tones work, it might help us understand how programming works in our radios. These are just a few of the preferred practices of North Georgia GMRS members, and these procedures are how we become the best operators on the nation's largest, most advanced linked repeater network. And if you have any questions or suggestions for new user tips and operating procedures, send me a note at julietngmrs.org. We are North Georgia GMRS Network, and this is WQIR 514. Atlanta 947. My name is Julie. Good night, everyone.